one of the things that prompted us to begin our ministry back in the 1990s was that many people felt ostracized in their churches. And today's question comes from a person that feels that way. How can I be a vegan ambassador in my church when I'm being ostracized? And if you're trying to do that and you're still being ostracized and you're not getting the people to listen to you and they're following in lockstep with either what the pastor is doing or what the leadership of the church is doing, the answer may be, unfortunately, you need to find another church. Because the way a church that would ostracize anybody for any reason other than being sacrilegious uh, according to God's heavenly will. Now, there's a big difference. Not according to the leadership of the church, but to what God tells us. And we need to be living in that life of God. And to ostracize somebody from a church is they're not being loving. I mean, if they, if they love you and, and care about you, but if they're ostracizing what you believe is God's heavenly will in your life, and they don't want to listen to it, then they're not living as a church of Jesus Christ. No, they may be following someone else. And they may be doing it blindly, but somebody isn't listening to what God wants us to do. And as we've talked about many times before, the simplest way to look at it is there was no pain or suffering or death in Eden. And if we look at the new heaven and the new earth, like we see in Revelation uh, 21.4, there's no pain or suffering or mourning in, in or death in heaven. So that is that gives us the biggest single key. We need to live in that example because that is God's heavenly will. The example we have is Eden, and the other example is what we're told in Revelation. And Jesus tried to lead us there. God has a number of times. We need to be that kind of person. And if we can't get along in the church that we're attending, then we need to find another church. And we need to find the leadership. If not, find other people. You can start a home church until you get enough people to be the kind of church you want it to be. But you can't... Uh, hit people over the head and try to get them to change. And if you don't have peace in church because you're being ostracized, then why go to church? Because you should be uplifted when you're in church. You should feel wonderful. It should lift you above the cares of this world. That's what church is about. And if it isn't, then you're not going to the right place. You're going to a social club. Live the life of Jesus Christ and find places where he is uplifted. Amen.